Welcome to the Fox 5 DMV Holiday Lights Special. I'm Jacqueline Matter. The whole place shimmers this time of year, and over the next half hour, we'll take you to bright spots in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. We start in the nation's capital at the National Christmas Tree, which is just one place to visit in D.C. Two, one. All right, you got it. The holiday season in the nation's capital now officially underway with the 101st lighting of the National Christmas Tree in President's Park. The tradition began under Calvin Coolidge's presidency and each year the president and the first lady flip the switch to light up the people's tree. The president also delivering a holiday message. We began another holiday season. Let's remember how blessed we are as Americans for the gift that is our nation. So Merry Christmas, America. The star of the show is the 40-foot Norway spruce brought to D.C. from the Monongahela National Forest in West Virginia. Since then, it's seen quite the makeover with thousands of lights and ornaments added, but also it had some major setbacks, strong winds toppling the tree earlier this week, leaving many wondering if the event would even happen. The National Park Service says they had to replace a snapped cable on the tree and about 20 ornaments fell off, but they were not broken. They were able to get the tree back up and the show went on as planned. We spoke to several people who came from all across the country to see the Christmas spectacular. It means everything to me. I'm actually attending Harpers Ferry Job Corps and we actually helped cut down the tree in the Monongahela Forest. So, yeah, this is like surreal. It's like full circle. So I'm excited to see the president hopefully number one it's it's amazing to be chosen to represent your area to be part of something that is the national celebration of holidays um, the ornaments are always made to represent where you're from and so my students really got inspired by thinking about what made our state special I heard the Christmas tree fell over and that was exciting too <laughs> and yeah. it took us a long time to find parking and I'm just really glad I can be here today yeah. this is the first time I've ever been able to travel with my son so to, for him to be able to experience this, this is like a once in a lifetime experience for him. I'm hoping that he does remember some of it. The National Christmas Tree will stay lit until January 1st. Up now, let's head over to Navy Yard where Nats Park is glowing brightly. Nats Park transforming into a cheerful Christmas village. We are here with Jason Babel, Vice President of Enchant DC. Tell us a little bit about what goes into Enchant DC and a, more about this giant Christmas tree you have back here. So this is our 100 foot, 250,000 light Christmas tree, probably the most stable in town. It takes us six days to build this. It is the centerpiece of our experience here and we're thrilled to bring it back for the fourth Time here in Nats Park. From what I understand, it is what three school buses tall? Is that that is exactly it, and it takes at least two containers to bring it here from our warehouses across the country. In the midst of the world's largest illuminated wonderland, escape through a dazzling forest that's pure magic while offering picture perfect stops along the way. So instead of it being an ordinary rink, we created the ice skating trail. And as you can see, we have our ever white trees that are in the center as well as panel trees that go along the side. So it creates that forest illuminated like experience. How many lights across the board are there here? That tree has 250,000 alone, but we hold ourselves to a brand standard to have at least 4 million twinkling lights for you to enjoy during the holiday season. And all new this year, a maze adventure, sure to keep you on your twinkle toes. The maze this year is called Reindeer Games. Never before seen, first time in the world. And the intention is, is that you're going through the experience and you're solving the issue that the animals in the Nordic created by taking the magic bells that allow Santa's reindeer to fly in a single night and deliver all the presents. So this is called Reindeer Games. You go through, you find those missing uh, bells, and you're able to help Santa deliver all the presents for Christmas. So what goes into putting this massive holiday takeover together? Working for Santa is hard work. We do it all year round. Um, you know, we, as I said, we have designers, production artists, we have operational people. It takes all year to put this together. What do you think makes Enchant DC so popular among the people in the DMV? I really think it's just the people in the community, you know, for all those who believe. It's an opportunity for a multi-generational experience. So you'll see grandparents, parents, kids. And the intention of Enchant is to build tradition. 
So year over year, we're building more tradition. We're seeing more of those friends and families and loved ones coming back. We couldn't be more thrilled to be here. Still a lot more to see here at Enchant DC, including tasting some holiday cocktails. Plus, I think we might get a chance to see Santa ourselves. Let's go. After gazing at the spectacular lights, head to the Christmas Village for a touch of holiday magic that'll make you feel like you're in the heart of the North Pole. People come for the maze, but they stay for the village. Well, what would the holiday season be without some festive cocktails? We've got Richie Matthew here joining us, and from what I've been told, he is Mr. Enchant. He does a lot of performances here, but he's also going to make us some of the amazing festive cocktails that you all have here at Enchant DC. So we have two drinks. Uh, these are our Enchant signature cocktails. The first one has cranberry juice, hibiscus juice, lemon juice, a little bit of vanilla, and we can't forget the founding spirits vodka, the local distillery here in DC. So we're gonna just mix it up right here. It's been pre-mixed, the magic of television, with our signature souvenir light up drinks. So okay. if you wanna try, try that this. one. This is a little bit of a colder drink. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But very it's really refreshing. good. Yes, Ooh. yeah. If you want something a little warm, we yeah. have a, a hot cider. Now this is a hot cider with our Green River whiskey. So just add a little, and this is a nice hot drink for these cold this nights. This sounds like it's right up my alley. Definitely. Sounds delicious. Tastes that? perfect as well. You can also get in some last-minute shopping at the Winter Marketplace. These are small businesses that are looking for an opportunity to generate revenue, give you an opportunity to buy gifts for your loved ones during this holiday season. You're able to be here at Enchant DC and yes. sell your product. How did that happen? I really wanted to you know, bring my stuff here in this festive environment. I started because my daughters all loved like those really fancy bath bombs and all those things from other stores. But a lot of them have so many preservatives in there that are not good for their skin. I went from bath bombs to these darlings right here. And right what's here. been the response from people? So far, everybody keeps coming over here and asking me, well, how, what is the fudge? What kind of fudge do we have here? <laughs> so that's been the response, because you know? It's so yummy looking. I tell you not, show us, show us what you have here. Okay, I, so. I'm buying this candy cane. Okay, so this delicious. candy cane soap is actually a goat milk soap. I can see how people think it is fudge, but it's not. And that really goes back to the comfort without the calories, exactly, right? Exactly. I mean, it's this is amazing. Circle. I love Thank it. You. I love it. Well, thanks so much. This has been Thank awesome. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> and don't forget to go see the big guy himself. It wouldn't be Christmas without Santa. Hello. How are you? Would you like to see Santa? Santa! Oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I hope I'm on the, the nice list oh, this year. Oh, yeah, I think you are. You're I doing am? good. Yes. You, you should okay. be proud of yourself. How are the kids in D.C. doing? They're doing very well. They all have that magical spirit. So yeah. if they still need to write their Christmas wish list, they can do so. Come here to Enchant, and you'll be able to hopefully yeah. grant them that wish. There you go. Exactly. Awesome. Santa, thank you. All right, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Next, we're heading out of D.C. Fox 5's Holiday Light Special continues after the break. Welcome back to the Fox 5 DMV Holiday Lights Special. We've explored some radiant spots in D.C., but now we head to Maryland, where your family can stroll through a canopy of lights. We are here at Winter City Lights in Olney, Maryland. Joining me now, Dan Denisio, and we are here in this winter wonderland, lights everywhere in this iconic 52-foot Christmas tree. Tell me more about it. Well, we're very proud. Like you mentioned, it's 52 feet high, um, but cascading down from that is about 128 strings of what we call RGB lights. We've got your light show. Talk to me about what goes into all of that. Each one of these lights is its own little computer. It has a chip in it, and it allows us to coordinate every light Light bulb with not only uh, of the light bulb next to it, but the music, the snow that we have that kind of comes along with it, and then the, the canopy of lights. This dazzling Christmas light display doesn't stop there. Take a walk through the woods for a trail of lights that's sure to make you feel merry and bright. It's about an hour that you walk through it and there's literally a million lights out there that you get to kind of enjoy. One of the things that we focus on is improving or at least changing the experience each year. People really like that because there's certain things 
they want to see every year. They all want to see Big Teddy, they want to see the Willow. Those are always going to be here, and then we just kind of swap out that other third so that it has a fresh newness to it. And what would a winter wonderland be without snow? And when it starts snowing, it's magical. I mean, you really, like, you can't get, and you're smiling too. You see the little kids running around, but, uh, you know, all the adults are smiling along with it. What goes into putting all of these light displays together? How long does it take? So, How many lights are we yeah, this talking? This is a great question. I mean, it literally, we researched it for about three years and we went to all these different shows, you know, around the country. We started this particular trail design uh, in January. Um, and we lay it all out in CAD. I mean, it's all engineered. It's all really, you know, well thought through. Uh, a lot of the displays are, are custom made. And that's why spending time with family at this winter wonderland will surely light up your holiday season. That's always been our goal is not only for you to kind of enjoy the show and the music, but really be kind of wrapped and embraced in the light experience. Still a lot to get to here at Winter City Lights. Let's head over to the Polar Pub for some tasty holiday drinks. The Polar Pub is, you know, everybody enjoys maybe a little bit of something on a cold night, so you can kind of work your way down the hot drink menu or the cold drink menu. I'm here with bartender Alicia. You have a special drink that you guys are making for people yep. this holiday season. Tell me a little bit about what you have and some of the other drinks you all have as well. Yeah, so tonight I'm just going to make the reindeer, which is just hot chocolate and Baileys. Um, but we also have cold drinks. Um, where there's punches and just different um, eggnogs, a classic spice e spiked eggnog. Um, but along with that, we also serve just beer and wine. This is our first year doing the Polar Pub. Um, very exciting, very exciting thing to bring to uh, Winter City Lights that we have um, along with all the lights. I'm sure it's a popular spot. Yes. All right, I'm gonna give it yeah, a try. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, um, a nice reindeer with mm. some s'mores by the fire is just a perfect touch to the winter season. Some Baileys yep. is great with it. Yeah, but with that we have um, the caribou, which is a coffee base, and then also the seal that is apple cider base with Jameson and honey and whiskey. Awesome, yep. love that, thanks so much. After the Polar Pub, be sure to head over to the Snowball Cafe. You can get everything from a salmon aioli sandwich and a barbecue sandwich down to funnel cakes and fried Oreos. So we have a little bit of, uh, little bit of everything. And one item you can't miss. There is this one dessert that they call the blizzard, um, which you gotta kind of see. It's quite a concoction here. Um, Kim's an expert at putting it together. It's got a little bit of everything. Funnel cakes, fried Oreos, Twinkies, and then lots of cool whip and sprinkles. It's quite a concoction. Okay, let's get to making it. We have the funnel cake here, and she first goes a layer of cool whip. Then we put two Twinkies, fried Twinkies. I can already feel the sugar rush I'm gonna get from this. Okay. <laughs> What's yeah. the reaction from people? They're, like, oh, they're just like, wow, they think it's beautiful. They're like, how are we gonna eat this? And they go at it. You guys gonna join me or is it just me on my own? Just me? Okay. I have to admit I've had a ton of these, so. <laughs> like I said, fried Oreos are my favorite. So <laughs> Thanks guys, this is so much fun. And before you go, be sure to snuggle up around one of the many bonfires for one last glance at the Christmas lights. With all Winter City Lights has to offer, it's no wonder why it was ranked one of the most magical light displays in the country. It's really amazing, um, the response. They're traveling from all over the space, uh, the place, which is really, it's a, it's a compliment. It's just a little surprising to be candid with you. Staying in Montgomery County, a popular park turned into a twinkling outdoor walkthrough experience. Brookside Gardens Garden of Lights will take your family through 50 acres of dazzling lights. Normally, it's just an elaborate garden full of flowers, now festive light sculptures. Food trucks and a gift shop are also points on this one half mile outdoor stop. And as the director explains, this could be your family's next tradition. One of the things that's great about Garden of Lights is that families come here year after year. Uh -huh. They come with their grandparents, with their grandchildren. It's just a multi-generational family experience. Yeah. This exhibit will stay open through the end of the year. The shining spots of the DMV are not done gleaming just yet. Up next, we head to Virginia. We'll be right back. 
Welcome back to Fox 5's DMV Holiday Lights Special. We've shown you a little bit of enchantment, what brings together people here at home, and what brings people to the nation's capital. But now we head below the D.C. line to Virginia. In Fairfax County, there's a new festival in town. The Winter Lantern Festival back in Tysons, Virginia for its third year this year. And the event is based off of the traditional Chinese festivals. Another great experience for the family during the holidays. Joined here by the organizer. Thank you so much for joining us. Talk to me a little bit about what goes into this beautiful display. Yeah, this one is a Ch Chinese Lantern Festival. Most of the lanterns have stories behind that. I think that's something people are interested in. Yeah. How long does it take you to put all this together? Oh, this is take a long time and, and hundred people, hundred engineers made it hand uh, by hand and uh, for 30 days in China and then ship over and then another 30 engineers to, to uh, assemble. What do you hear from the families that come out here and they see these beautiful displays? What are what are they saying when they're coming out here? Oh, they just enjoy. This is a, really a family event and people can enjoy special kids and the running around those uh, uh, displays and and to see the lights and to see this beautiful uh, lanterns. And also we have some uh, other things for kids to enjoy like uh, uh, motorized uh, the uh, steed and the bounce houses and also uh, some uh, rocking dinosaurs. Awesome. And all of these lanterns are silk made, right? They're yeah. they're handmade. They are handmade and you it's amazing how they made it. I, I was I can't believe when they in you saw the time and they just made it from the picture. People show the picture and they use those wires and the steels to create it. If you take a picture on that, you see how difficult for them, for, for them to make it and, and different color, different uh, uh, fabric and they put it together and some bulbs behind that. So amazing. And so tell me when you guys are open until and what days of the week? Okay, we, you, we open the Friday, Saturday and the Sunday and from 5 to 9.30. Open November 24th until February 18th. February 18th. So yes. people have a lot of time to get out here, see these beautiful lanterns. We are so impressed with them. Thanks so much for having us out yeah, here. Thank you for coming. What is normally a water park has been transformed into ice and lights at Cameron Run here in Alexandria, Virginia. I've got Blythe Russian joining me now, park superintendent for Nova Parks. Talk to us a little bit about what goes into putting together ice and lights and a little bit more about how this is a water park to begin with. Well, we are a very popular water park here in the summer and then starting in September we start putting up the lights for Ice and Lights, the Winter Village at Cameron Run, including an outdoor ice rink. It takes us several months and lots of staff to put all this together and every year we're adding new displays and it just is transformed into a winter wonderland. I love that. So talk to me a little bit about some of the new additions you have this year. Sure. Well, one of the things I'm really excited about is over the holiday break, we have added daytime ice skating in December. So usually this is just a nighttime activity, but we've extended it into the daytime in, in December at the end of December and also weekends and holidays in January and February. Awesome. And you guys have something that's really unique. A lot of the little kids love to go play on the stomping step stones. Talk to me a little bit about that. Why does it seem the kids really gravitate towards that? Well, I think one of the things that everyone loves about Ice and Lights is the fact that you can walk around and your kids can burn off a little energy when it's cold outside, when it's winter break, and the stomp lights, you, you can walk across them, they change colors, they make noises, and kids of all ages really enjoy it. And this is something that the entire family, like you said, can really come and be a part of. You guys have fire pits, all sorts of fun little activities. What makes that really a good family of Event here? It's just families can do whatever they want. So if a parent wants to just watch their kid enjoy the lights, they can. If you want to come and take your, your holiday card photo, we have lots of photo ops. If you're adventurous and you want to get out on the ice, you can take a spin on the ice. And we also have pizza and hot chocolate to warm up, the fire pits to roast marshmallows over. So it's a really casual, 
fun way to get outdoors over the holidays. And the pricing isn't bad either. It's pretty cheap for, for a family to come out here. Absolutely. You can choose to just visit the village, um, which is about $10 on, um, at the door, or you can also add in ice skating. Uh, ice skating and the village is about $20, and that we do encourage you to purchase online because we fill up quickly, and we like to keep the crowds low on the ice so you can really enjoy your time. And last but not least, this is not the only winter village you all have here in the Commonwealth. Yeah, so Nova Parks operates three light shows. One is Meadowlark's Winter Walk of Lights in Vienna, Virginia. The other is Bull Run Festival of Lights in Centerville. That one's a drive-through show, so great rain or shine. And then our third one is Ice and Lights, the Winter Village at Cameron Run. So uh, you can check it out at novaparkslights.com and enjoy all three. They're my kids. It's our family tradition to visit all of them. Lo love it. Blythe, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And your efforts to put this all together. If you're decorating your own house, experts say safety first. Make sure you secure your items and use ladder stabilizers. It's best to set up all the lights to a single outlet and then use a timer for that. For decorating tips, wrap lights around every branch of the trees in your yard and use greenery. But if you find it too much to make your house glow up, just leave it to the experts. That does it for this year's DMV Holiday Lights Special. Be sure to share your lights by tagging Fox 5 DC on social media. And catch up on anything you missed on Fox5DC.com. That's where you'll find a whole page of holiday fun and events, plus an interactive map where you can track the light exhibits and see more of what's happening in your town. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.